I had to make copies. There's so they're double sided, but I had to make some copies. I think there's like ten there. See if I can find some more. Okay, thank you. There's three pens. The back is where you you put in your words the statement. The front is That's just. <laughs> we need your name, your date of birth, and your phone number for sure. We need that stuff for sure because we have to know how to contact you or. And then I think it just asks questions like, are you willing to fill this out? Like, because it's voluntary. We can't make you fill it out. So. And I think a lot of those questions are just like yes or no, or oh, okay. I, a lot of it's like too like if you're a juvenile, like you have to have parents with you and stuff like that. But. but yeah, name, date of birth, phone number, and a signature on the statement at the bottom. That's we have to have those things for sure. So they're all filling out statements as to what they saw. So I spoke to Officer Webb. Mm -hmm. he, um, he's not going to charge her with resisting. It's his discretion. Mm -hmm. He explained to me what's going on. He, when you attack a school official, it becomes a felony. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean she's going to be convicted of. It's just yeah. this is the charge, right? Mm -hmm. So what's going on is that was a, a family committed in his presence that he witnessed, and he has a victim who wants to press charges. So he has absolutely no choice but to take her to jail for the night. Oh, okay. Absolutely no choice. What he said, he said, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, not gonna charge her with resisting, uh, and she's gonna give you, she's gonna let her give you guys a call to let you guys know that she's okay. Okay. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, that's right. good. So the, the worst thing, really, it seems like you have a good attorney. And if it's her first offense, it's, it's not going to yeah, go no, anywhere. She doesn't have anything. And th the worst thing is just it's the inconvenience for the night mm -hmm. that yeah. she's going to spend the night in jail. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So, but as soon as she's come back, if she's coming back. He's going to let her Call. talk to you okay. guys. And like I said, he there's charges that he didn't even file. So he's got, she's got one, yeah. the main one that where he has absolutely no choice. What Officer Webb did, mm -hmm. he did the minimum the law was allowing to do as possible, oh. as minimum as possible. So he was really generous on that. And like I say, he's a group, you know, I'm, I'm surprised he's a great officer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, um, that's he's why he's at the schools. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I know, like, you got to have level headed people there. Yeah, so. and, and, you know, really, like, just a comment with that security officer that, I mean, <laughs> yeah. other than, like, like, he escalated it. And yeah. that's yeah. the one that, you know, I, mm -hmm. I want to write a statement regarding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you're more than welcome to put it in your own words, okay. whatever you want. Web, you, know, you can cuss in there, you can do whatever you want, it's your words, so. Go ahead, sir.
arguing with the person. Two mils. They were shooting at the bus, too. Were they really? Yeah. Yeah. They said to have them take pictures. And and Christian Lopez, so that's his name, Christian Lopez, the gentleman you're talking about. Yeah, you might want to write that down. Um, And Officer Mark Webb. He's our school resource officer, so he works at the school full time. Um, and yes, Web W E B B W E B B. Yeah. So, like I said. Um, if you write your statements then so when a misdemeanor like that when the officer doesn't see it like if if officer webb didn't see christian or your altercation he can't charge either person he can make a report and charges could be pressed later once the case is reviewed by the district attorney's office but it's different with chantel because he saw it right so that's that's where it's different so Sorry, I'm trying to. So that's why you, where your statements come in as to what happened between you guys and Christian, and then um, obviously once your attorney gets all this stuff in their police report and videos, um, then okay. then it it'll it, it's it'll all be reviewed by the appropriate people later. So. Sounds like it was getting kind of hectic, though. Yeah. The other security. Del Norte is a <laughs> Del, Del Norte is a school in Albuquerque, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, why? Do, in my opinion, they have no business playing a small town like this. I don't know why. Well, why? Yeah. Are, I know. I mean, that's a big high school. They I, they I got. Think the, the only problem we had was another school was Bernalillo. <laughs> oh yeah, we're and, we're but our, we don't. Even, we only have like well, four security there, but they handle that. And yeah, they're, old. <laughs> they're like sixty. Yeah, and it's not an <laughs> excuse. But Española <laughs> takes their basketball very yeah. serious. Their football's no good. Their baseball's <laughs> no good. They they put a lot into their basketball team because that's you know, and they take their basketball here very very seriously. A little too serious, it sounds like. But I think the water bottles kind of what started the whole yeah. thing. Whoever did that, obviously. Yeah, he just came back from a leg injury like what, a month ago, a month I and know. a half ago. So like everything so freaks us out like that, and then yeah. like, and then that water like, bottle just went right there. <laughs> you I know, think, like you know, other teams they're they're really like hostile against my son because he's a good player. The MVP and all around. You know, it just. So I always like, you know, am protective of him, and you know, I'm like, oh my God, you know, because you never know, you know. I mean, it could be something other than a water bottle, and mm-hmm. he gets hurt again. Yeah, or just slips and fall, you know. Yeah, and I, I and and I I agree with Officer Webb when he said at that point we decided we needed to clear the gym out and like we needed to get, and he said he did see gang signs or yeah, hand I signals. Girls, I'm like, what are you doing? Gang but he just what? said that he didn't want like a big old like brawl and riot yeah. there so he was trying to get the team off the court and get <laughs> get people out of the gym without having a big fight well, but they come from Albuquerque man people shoot people I know yeah, oh. you'll see it on the news <laughs> every day you know yeah th- it's I, crazy there. this I little town know. this little town you know it's yeah. it's just a mini Albuquerque is all it yeah. is you know, we just have less people, yeah. but it's not any different as far as culturally. It's, yeah. you know, we've got two tribes, one to our north, one to our south, and then we've got the Hispanic community. And so it's it's, it's very similar demographically to Albuquerque, yeah. actually. Well, I work for Sandoval County in the Human Resources Office, and we have, like, Rio Rancho, um, Bernalillo County, mm-hmm. Sandoval County, Santa Ana State Police. <laughs> Everybody just crosses everybody's jurisdiction. Oh yeah, yeah. We've got it's. We've got two counties in this city, <laughs> so that makes it even. 
about a third of the cities in Santa Fe County. So um, five different five different courts we have to deal with, depending on you know where the person is charged or arrested. I did see Chantel when I walked in. They were taking like as I was walking into the jail, yeah. she was coming out. She looked okay. She looked okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she looked fine. She was walking and. I said, what's your name? And she said, Chantel. And I said, what's your mom's name? And I, she told me, Tanya. yeah, she said, Tanya. I said, like, okay. And that was it. And so she appeared to be okay. okay. What do you think could have prevented this tonight? More more security? More that, cops? Just the way the guy handled it, you know, he, um, so when, um, was he just, um, just being, like, real abrasive? Yeah, or? Yeah. Yeah. Just real like you, you don't go into an altercation, especially when you know there's going to be something, and start rallying up everybody yeah, by pushing them. Pushing people, like pushing people. That's all you got to do. Yeah, and you then know. and then like my so my sister has on video with him pushing me, and then like he grabbed my arm, and then I she turned was around and I was like, don't push me, and then he like hit me on my she forehead. She was already walking away from him. And like, Did he hit you on in your forehead on purpose, or was I it like an know, accident, yeah. like? Was no, he like trying to turn or something? No, he, he like literally like went like that like to my head. Yeah, right. And then she's gonna turn he said, around. you need to leave. So I'm like, oh my God. And then I think everybody saw that and that's what like that's what set everybody off. Because you don't do that to your girl, especially yeah. if she's listening to your command. Yeah, and then she's walking <laughs> away from him. You know, that's the thing. You don't just, I mean, that's just the cost of, you know. Yeah, I'm just unbiased. I'm not taking sides, mm -hmm. but you need to be as detailed in your statements as possible. And those statements in your cell phone videos are going to be what the the best yeah. evidence. Your officer did see his handle and back your neck, which you don't for security. You don't. That's the main reason why people are dying. Yeah. Like yeah. Well, there's a difference between a security guard and a bouncer. Yeah. You know, I've like a bouncer's <laughs> job is just to put yeah. your hands on somebody, get them outside, yeah. and that's it. A security guard is just to protect the the best interest of everybody right yeah. whatever that may be which in this case is the people yeah or the I mean, school or the school property i ran 25 security we kicked out 50 people at once with no incidents <laughs> you know but mm -hmm. just the way he handled it is i would never ever do that i understand <laughs> well that's that's why no you know, that's more report that i gotta do <laughs> you know something does happen <laughs> you know <laughs> heading back tonight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably just the half the day off or half a day tomorrow. I'll probably just take the day just wait for her. And obviously I cannot predict what the judges are going to do. Yeah. But she's going to go see a magistrate judge, which is a good thing. Yeah. She's not going to go she's not going to go in front of a district court judge okay. or anything. So I've I've seen our magistrate judges let people out for way way worse than that. Yeah. So <laughs> I yeah, well they, they well they look at when they arraign them they look at their they look at their history. Yeah, they they like they check are they on probation? They look at their history, like are they a flight risk? And then if the DA doesn't step in and say we need this person detained because we want to do a you know, a dangerous hearing or whatever, which usually we have to ask the DAs for that. We'll say, hey, this person just got arrested for armed robbery. Can we keep them in jail? Okay, and then the DA will step in and do that. Mm -hmm. But just for a, a, a first-time offense yeah. um, arraignment, I, I seriously doubt the DAs are going to step in on this. Yeah, so most she could be out as early as tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. She could be. Yeah. I'm just freaked out because, you know, she's never been in this type of situation. And, and, it, and it's, it's and yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, so it's like, oh my God, what do I do? And obviously, if if, if m my wife or I were in a predicament and my children were able to help me, I would expect them to help me as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. outside of police, like don't step in between police yeah. and what's going on. But 
yeah, I, I would want my parent or my, my children to stick up for me as well. And like I said, I wasn't there, and I don't know yeah. how far she took it. That's the thing. So, you know, saying, hey, don't do that to my mom is one thing, but then, like, if there was an actual, like, mm -hmm. physical uh, grab or attack, then that's a whole nother level. So where do you guys go now? Del Norte plays who? Um, are you waiting for Thursday a winner? Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Might be Highland. Two more games to Friday. state? Friday. Friday? Yeah, yeah two, two more, more games. games. Yeah. yeah. So is it one more game and then state finals? Yeah, yeah one more game. And I think Espinola really won his game because we're defending state champs. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time we beat them in the quarterfinals. It's close, yeah. So last year we beat them at home and then came here we were like afraid of your crowd we we're like oh my god because like we we know like how much into the basketball they are um and then my son played my older son played for santa fe indian school so when we came here we we're like oh they get rowdy <laughs> mm. yeah so there's what four four teams left yeah final four yeah, yeah. I don't really keep up with it too much, so. Mm. We're a basketball family, so we're always hardcore. <laughs> yeah, my daughter's not into sports, no. and my sons are three, so oh, cute. they're not old enough. Your sons, are they twins? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're, I wanted to put them in t-ball, but uh -huh. they have to be four. So. Oh, no way, four years. They don't well, turn four, ready. yeah, they don't turn <laughs> four till June. Well, his daughter's playing. She's so old. Five. Yeah. Five and ten. Five and ten. Yeah. Yeah, my daughter's. I've tried to put her in oh sports, really? and she's just no. not into it. Maybe dance or something. Like yeah, theater. she's more like into. Dr she's more creative, like oh. art. Like she likes art and like dance and music oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Oh. So nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I'm not one of those parents. If my kids aren't into something, I don't make them do it. Oh. You know, if they're into it, yeah. I'll I'll do whatever I can to make them yeah. succeed as much as possible but if they're not into it yeah. I'm like then they lose all interest and yeah. they're like mm. I put her in soccer and she was just like eh. really <laughs> Yeah, like I said, we have all security at our school, and <laughs> they could break up a fight. <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> like, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I maybe maybe a few more a few more cops would have might have helped that yeah, situation yeah. too. People are. I'm not saying like when people get mad, they get mad. They don't care if cops are there or not, yeah. but people think twice before they do stupid stuff if there's a cop right there. Be like, yeah, I could do this, but is it worth going to jail? Probably not. And a lot of times people will, mm -hmm. you know, they'll think twice at least yeah. before they do stuff. And he was wearing civilian clothes, but he had his badge on, and yeah, that was it. So How, how, do, you, even how do you even you know your security? You know? Know. He just had, he had his, security, yeah. did he ever say I'm security no, no, or nothing? No, no, no? He didn't say That's security. one thing, yeah. yeah. I didn't even see his badge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had one of I mean, those. I saw like I the the not like a bad, but like the thing that hangs down, you know, the plastic thing. Because I saw the the. Um, the video. Uh, I was trying to ask what his name was. Yeah, he and nobody would then. He would like, why would you not give it though? That's the thing. Why, why are you well, being so secretive? We're gonna find out. No matter it's what. public record. That's why I told you his name's Christian Lopez. Oh, I'm no. I'm not gonna protect him for you guys. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's another thing. You always. Obviously, I'm not taking sides either way. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I, there's well, no, it's, it's there's no point in hiding that information yeah, because yeah. it's obviously yeah. nothing that police officer did, but <laughs> security man, they 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 probably think they were acting like a <coughs> peace officer. <laughs> huge different, huge pay, pay difference. <laughs> Was there other security guards that you saw? Well, they were, they were the calm ones, but after everything was broken up and they had their black jackets and they actually had security in the back, you know. Because I followed my uh, niece until they took her out and I was just asking them versus police. Uh, 
they didn't even say they were security until I read the back of their jackets because I was talking to them face by face and where's the jail? <laughs> I was just trying to break everything up. All right, thank you. you know, kind of deal. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, you could have swung at the guys in the black shirts who wore the Espinola Valley and you know their security, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't even know who the hell security was. I didn't even know they had security. Well, these are things I can bring <laughs> up. This is these are things I can bring yeah. up. You know, and maybe in our next yeah. meeting. I see your radio on it. I can, yeah. When you kind of tell me, you should say, I'm security. You know, he's got nothing like that. Yeah. And I obviously, if yeah. there's if there's shortcomings in the system or the way it works, I can bring those things up mm-hmm. and maybe. Like acknowledge like, yourself. Or like yeah. Or wear something, like that or something, that something that identifies you or like have more yeah. people. Yeah. yeah, have more people. I was like, who is that? Like, who yeah. is that guy? And they're like, <coughs> charge for pushing a, a oh, why is somebody officer. saying that though like and I don't like, know that you know because I, I I don't know I just thought maybe he uh, was like um from the team like oh. one of the coaches or something because I had two guys in my face and I was like you guys better get away from me I was like I'll get you in a sick arm bar and <laughs> throw you out but I was like oh I'm trying to hold everybody I was like man I should I'll drop you to your knees <laughs> There was a guy that just came out of nowhere too, and he was all holding me. I'm like, "Who are you?" Oh yeah, I saw that. I just see him. Yeah, and that's when I like started walking down because I was trying to get her too, then trying to get Chantel because I didn't know she was arrested yet. And I was like, "What the hell?" He's holding me, and then he was all, "You're gonna get felony charge on you because she hit the officer." And I'm like, "Who me?" And then that guy said, "Well, the the cameras will show all that." I was like, "Oh well, good." I said, "That camera's gonna show that I didn't hit the officer." Yeah. So that's what I told him. I said, I know you want to hold me and I'm cute and all, but okay, <laughs> that's what I had to just like. Then he let me go, and I'm like, just let me go. I didn't mean, I'm trying to get my knees. I know, cause you were just standing there like, oh, yeah. okay. I'm like, God oh, dang. And I knew there was a game, but I didn't know it was in Espanola. Because oh. I saw the bracket oh. in our local paper, and I knew there was a game, and I knew they had beaten Taos. Oh. So I knew... I knew that they were playing somebody. I didn't know they were playing Del Norte, but I knew they were, and I didn't know there was even a home game tonight. Oh, you were just coming on. Well, I'm, well, I worked the patrol side, right? And, and Officer Webb just primarily works at the school, oh. so um, if if I had known, I yeah. could have popped in there, and uh-huh. I d- I had no idea, oh. to be honest uh-huh. with you. Maybe they just thought there wasn't like there's certain teams that play here. Like Powake, when they come here, we yeah. have to have like, oh, really? like, cause they they hate each other. Gosh. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
So take the worst neighborhood in Albuquerque. Yeah. That's Espanola. Hmm. We have shootings, robberies, just everything. A lot of that down fentanyl too, man. You just don't hear about it as much because we don't have the Albuquerque yeah. news stations like breathing oh. down our neck. Yeah. You know, Al- APD, something happens and news gets a hold of it right away. Yeah. Here, it's only like the major stuff that, that, you know, makes state news. But we have just as much stuff happen here <laughs> as anywhere else. Just then it's not covered by the media near as much, so... Hello? Yeah. Are you still with the family? Yeah, we're here. They're filling out statements here at the at the big table. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, she's got a, her iWatch. Her iWatch? Okay. She's going to want me to give it to her family. Okay. Um, would you be okay if I let her mom come to the visitor side and see her before she goes? You know the the little the window there. So mom is uh, wearing the blue hoodie. Yeah. Uh, well, she's wearing like a like a like a turquoise top and like a gray shirt, but like a turquoise. It is her mom, yeah, Tanya. Yeah. And okay. Okay. yeah. Or. Well, they're filling out these voluntary statements, so I told them that minimum we need phone numbers and date of births and names. So it'll all be all the information will be at the top of the. Or the voluntary statements. Because I, I just received uh, the victim statement, and there's also going to be some video of her. Okay. So, so I'll, I'll need that. Yeah, and they have they have their own video as well. So. Yeah, she was recording me when I was trying to get her pants. Yeah. So so they understand, you know, the charges with Chantel and stuff. So, I I think their concern was more with Christian. Um, the way he was like. I guess treating them before that even happened. So, but we'll talk about that later. But yeah. Um, if they want to, uh, yeah, their statements and everything like that, and then I'll forward her case and the, the my current victim's case against them to the DA's office for review. Boy, do the job. Yeah, yeah, and they understand that. They understand that, and and. I, they they just expressed concerns about the way Christian was talking to him and, and treating him and you know put, putting like like shoving people like get out of here and pushing on them and stuff so and I guess that's where their their biggest concern was like they felt like he escalated it so but they're gonna put that in their own words on their on paper so you'll have all that so. Are you almost done? Yeah, I already did her PC statement, her booking. Yeah, we're just we're just here in the war room, dude, at the big table. They're they're filling out their statement, so. But okay. come by if you want to talk to them. Yeah, and I'll just I'll just let them know that I, I'm gonna yeah. have to forward. You know what I mean? Yeah. Forward the case well, obviously, uh, yeah, obviously, because you didn't see that that part of the altercation, you can't charge, but you can I'm definitely do. Yeah, you could definitely document document what what they say and forward it to the because, DA. Because uh, my dick wants me to do that. So okay. It's, it's, it's hard. You know, we'll talk about it later. Okay. All right. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. I got you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I I'm the only one that calls it the war room. This is like where we have like our meetings and. Oh. Or like if we're going on an operation and we have like SWAT teams come in here oh, and wow. yeah, this is just kind of we have like a training like conference room in there as like a projector and all that. Mm. But this is just like hey, we eat here, we do everything in all here. Right. So yeah. Who does all your? Do you guys do like does somebody do like all your altering and sewing and stuff like that? Um, it depends. Guys- like so. With these uniforms, it's all Velcro, yeah. um, but we we use galls sometimes. <laughs> it's it takes forever, uh-huh. but we use galls mainly. Uh-huh. And there's a lady here in town. If uh-huh. if we need something done like right yeah. now, she can do it. Mm-hmm. But we don't really have like a specific. Yeah, we just you mostly use galls. Mm. 
sew on, you know, stripes or yeah. things like that. <laughs> well, I like these uniforms because, like I said, it's all Velcro. It's just yeah. Velcro the patches. And yeah. And I do uh, I mean, my uh, seamstress and do alterations and everything. So I've done stuff for uh, our Luna, their um, alterations of their pants and everything else and what they need done. But I'm just located in Albuquerque, so I do that. And, like when they need things, they call call me and I'm like, okay, get it done right away. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it helps you know them because you know they're always 